Hi there clarinets. In this video I want to get you started playing a couple different notes on your instrument. So we're going to work on, on learning that today. I want to just start out by checking our reed. If your reed is not adjusted correctly your instrument is not going to work. So this is what your reed should look like on your mouthpiece and barrel. So notice that the reed is centered on the mouthpiece. The ligature is right there with the screws going off to the right. The reed is in great condition. There are no chips or uh, cuts out of the reed. You can see just a little bit of the top of the mouthpiece right over the top. It's not too low, it's not too high. If yours doesn't look like this, you did it wrong and you need to fix it. Okay, so that's what it needs to look like. Make yours look like that. Okay, and you can always check if it's working just by doing your party horn. Although as you get better putting your reed on, you won't have to worry about that. Remember that when you put your clarinet together, um, the reed is going to be lined up with this key here in the back. So there's a hole and a key and the reed lines up in a straight line with that. When you put it together, make sure you are careful with your bridge key and got the, the bridge key and all these keys lined up. Uh, when you're holding it, your right hand is going to go down on the bottom and cover these bottom holes. Your left hand is going to go on the top and cover the holes for the top. So if you're sitting holding your clarinet, it's going to look like this. Or the clarinet is between your knees and your body. It's kind of going down at an angle. It should not be out straight in front of you. Okay, like this. You have your chin up, and when you're blowing on your clarinet, this is how you should look. Okay, now I'm going to come a little bit closer so you'll be able to see me better. But that, I just wanted to show you kind of that zoomed out view of what, what you should look like. Remember that when you're setting up to play, your bottom lip is going to get uh, flat like you're putting on chapstick. And your chin is going to come down here. We're not going to puff our cheeks. Okay, so when we blow, that's how it should look. Okay, if no sound comes out, it could be because you don't have enough reed in your mouth and you have the reed just on your lip and your lip is keeping that reed from vibrating. So you've got to get the reed over the lip. Okay, and the reed's got to be on the bottom lip. Teeth are touching on the top. So you get that sound there, okay? So let's make a sound together. Let's play the note E. So E, we're gonna cover the thumb hole in the back and the top hole here with this finger. So we're not gonna cover any of these keys right here. These fingers can just kind of rest above the keys and these fingers can kind of just rest above these holes here. So the only ones you're squeezing down is your thumb and one finger. So that's the sound E is what it's called. Sounds like this. Can you make that sound with me? And again, if no sound's coming out, try putting a little bit more weight in your mouth. If you're getting a really squeaky sound, it's probably because you're puffing your cheeks or you have too much in your mouth. Try taking a little bit less. Yeah, I pulled a little bit out and I got that sound that I wanted. If you're not getting a sound, it can also be that you're not blowing enough. Really blow the air through the instrument. It takes a lot of air to get your clarinet going. So match me, again, thumb and one finger. That's the note E. Now we're going to press down a second finger. So we're going to have our thumb and two fingers. This note is called D. You try it. And one more time. down a third finger and remember our third finger there's no ring it's just a hole we're just covering the hole right here we're still not pressing any of these bottom fingers so we have E D and the third finger makes it C so thumb three fingers is C sounds like this can you play that so let's try that again E play E with me then D, then C. Be careful you're not bumping any keys on the side. Don't let your hand hit those. Be careful that your hand up here is not hitting like any of these keys here on the side. So you're just only pressing down 
those specific holes that we talked about. Let's try playing E, D, C in a row. Here's E, and then D, and then C. Change with me. First note. And if you think, hmm, that sounds a little familiar, maybe like hot cross buns, it is. That's how we start hot cross buns. So let me get it so you can see my fingers and I'll demonstrate hot cross buns for you. Now you don't have to learn hot cross buns, but I know some of you are probably going to be excited to do that, so I just wanted to demonstrate that for you. So um, again, E, D, and C are the sounds we want to make. Try it one more time. Here's E, then D, then C. So good luck working on that. Make sure your fingers cover those holes all the way. If it's not covering the holes, it's not going to work. Make sure you're only using these fingers. Don't use your pinkies. We're not using pinkies at all. Make sure that you have your left hand on the top and the right hand on the bottom. So we're not going to be covering the holes with our right hand. Only the left hand. Okay, so those are all the things. Make it exactly like what you saw in the video. Okay, if, it, if it's not like what you saw in the video, you're probably doing something incorrectly and we want to fix that. Remember also about taking off our reed and cleaning out our instrument when we're done, the way we talked about. So good luck. Have a great day.